All right, <clears throat> this is the last concept on pages 28 and 29. Yay, you're almost done. Um, there are two examples that you really ought to read over and follow all the steps. Notice how they're doing it. Uh, one method is called substitution. So you solve for like x squared and then you take what you get and you plug it into the second equation in place of x squared. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate that for you here in just a minute. The other one is called um, linear something. Basically, you're multiplying both equations through, and then you're going to add the equations and try to get uh, like x squared to cancel out or y squared to cancel out. Um, the two examples they give are, I think, easy enough to follow if you look at all the, look at all the steps. But then in looking at the homework, it looks like they give you two problems that are different than both of the examples. Isn't that always the case? Okay. So I'm going to take one of the ones that's slightly different from the two examples, and let's walk through that together. But in the process, we can talk about all of these steps. All right, we're going to actually take this first one, <clears throat> and we want to solve this in order to plug it in to this equation. Now, at first glance, you might think, oh, I see a y here. I should probably solve for the y, but no. We actually want to solve for the x squared term. So if I bring the 4y over to the other side, I'll have x squared equals 4y plus 20. Okay, 4y comes over here, becomes positive 4y plus the 20. Now, I can substitute that in this equation in place of the x squared. So 4y plus 20 plus y squared equals 25. See what we did? This is still here, the 25 is still here. We replaced the x squared with 4y plus 20. All right, now I'm gonna put the y squared term first and then plus the 4y. I'm going to bring the 25 over, <clears throat> which makes it negative 25, so minus 5 equals 0. All right, then we want to factor that and get two values for y. So it looks like 5 and 1 would give me 5 for the last term. To get this middle term to be positive, I need to make this positive and that negative. If you do the FOIL method, you'll see that that will work out. So what does that give us then for y? I'm going to let you finish it, right? 5y would be the negative 5, and y here is going to, looks like, be positive 1. Let's take, let's take the positive 1. Look what happens up here. You plug in the 1 up here, because um, we want to go back and solve for x. Plug in the 1 and you get 24, okay? x squared equals 24, which means x equals the square root of 24. And you can simplify that by pulling out, um, what would it be, four times six, so pull out the two, you know, two square root of six, or you can use your calculator and get a decimal answer, okay? And then you'll do the same by plugging in the, the 5. So the, what that means is you're going to get um, two, you're actually going to get four answers here. <clears throat> because this is plus or minus this. Okay? And um, that was the x values. So when y was 1, x was 2, square root of 6. And I also have negative 2 square root of 6 corresponding to the 1. And then over here when you solve for y, we had uh, negative 5. And then you can plug in the 5 and that's going to give you, it looks like 40. Look at this, I'm taking even further than I intended to. And then the square root of 40 will give you two values, a plus and a minus, that will go in here for the x values. And let me just look at the score key and make sure I'm not leading you astray. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, I am. Looks like they are giving giving you three answers. Not four. Where did I? Okay, we got down here to this. Y equals negative five. Y equals one. Oh, did I say five? It would be negative five. That's what I did wrong. Over here, it's y equals negative five. When you plug in negative five, that does not give us 40. See, Mr. Anger made a mistake. Negative 20 plus 20, ah, gives me zero. So there's only one answer for x. So you're not gonna have two here, you're only gonna have one. Ah, all right, good thing I checked before I uh, posted that and had that boo-boo in there. Negative five here gives us only one answer. <clears throat> all right, thankfully, on all of these on this page, the solution, the uh, answer key has a solution guide which shows you all of the steps. And uh, so if you show your work, if you get stuck, you can go back and look at the steps and see which step maybe you made a mistake, which is what I just did and I found my mistake. All right, you are at the end. And I hope you do well on your checkup, and then you have the self-test and pace test, and we'll see you on the other side.